Hey YouTubers, this is Vention. You'll have to excuse my eyes because uh, it's about five in the morning for me. I know I've been up about 23 hours. <laughs> oh, the joys of working graveyard. But if you want to get your gardening in, uh, you got to pay the price. Um, basically, um, this is the beginning of my weekend. I got off at 7 a.m. this morning and uh, now I'm going to do a little bit of gardening. Um, I went and bought some starts. I know it's cheating. Um, and I'm going to try and experiment because right now the economy is still kind of sort of working. So I thought I'd, I had heard, um, so I thought I'd try something new. I had heard that tomatoes or tomato plants are able to metabolize or access the nutrients in compost directly without uh, much in the way of uh, being broken down um, ahead of time. Uh, but I only got that out of a novel. But uh, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I, basically, I'm going to uh, plant these two starts. Let me show you. I'm going to plant these two um, nice genetically modified uh, tomato plants. They're supposed to be bushier and more robust and more able to stand uh, on their own. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to plant them in the compost directly. Basically, I'm just going to drop them into my earth boxes, as you can see out there. And um, I nuked the uh, compost, so uh, this is just kitchen scraps. <clears throat> so, uh, so they won't transmit any diseases or fungus or whatever. So, um, I, and it says plant them deep. So I'm going to uh, plant them as deep as I can in this thing right down to the plastic layer. <laughs> See there? You can see the water down below. And that I'm going to add more compost in the middle and plant the two tomatoes on either side. And we'll see how it works. I'm just going to do one thing right now. Well, I managed to do a little bit before it started raining. Got the two tomato plants planted in my earth box. Then of course I got a lot of chives left over from last year. These these uh, parsnips are getting big. I think I'm going to have to yank them and make a stew out of them. These are green onions from last year and they seem to be blooming. I might be able to reuse this barrier. I'm going to put my uh, cucumbers down there and they'll climb that trellis. And then I'll put cherry tomatoes in this bucket again, fertilized with uh, compost. Okay, probably put a salad mix over in that one. Maybe in maybe spinach along that side as well. Maybe more parsnips right next to the other parsnips. Okay, well, this is working well. Well. Compared to all the gardens I've seen on YouTube, my little deck garden seems pretty uh, small. <laughs> but I'm one guy, and um, the garden isn't intended to uh, to replace my entire caloric requirements. <laughs> what they're what it's designed to do is uh, sort of make it a nice little addition to my uh, to my uh, nutrition, uh, living things like tomatoes and all that good stuff. Cucumbers especially and salad mix. All of that stuff uh, if it's alive and right right off the deck um, then basically it has a lot of things that store bought um, uh, produce doesn't have and plus um, if, if the stores actually have serious problems providing us with, uh, with affordable produce like might happen late later on this year, um, then I'll be really glad that I have this garden. And, as I said last year, um, the reason for the garden isn't really a huge benefit to my nutrition. Partially what it's there for is to for the neighbors to see it. <clears throat> and then they'll see 
um, when when produce is like really expensive in the stores, they'll say, "Oh wow, look at that guy! He's growing, he's growing cucumbers on his deck. Maybe I can do that." And um, then, and a lot of them will probably be out of the out of work by then, so they'll have a lot of time. So uh, I'll be here to show them basically how to do it, and I'll uh, sort of bro I will have sort of broken trail for them. Um, and maybe if things get serious enough, uh, next spring um, we might end up being uh, busy tearing up all these lawns and planting real gardens throughout the entire condo complex. This this condominium complex is a nice place. It's most of the uh, most of the buildings are two story, a couple of them are three story. And it's more spread out than more modern complexes because it was made in like the 70s. Um, and it's got a lot of lawn space. Um, uh, way more lawn space than there is building footprint. So uh, so basically, um, we could conceivably grow a significant amount of food on this uh, place. And of course, we wouldn't replace all our caloric needs here. <laughs> but... Um, the fresh things and the nice little additions that will make a person a lot more healthy, that we can do. Um, so basically, um, I thought about not making a deck garden video this year because I've seen such amazing gardens from other people um, <laughs> on YouTube. You know who you are. Uh, that it seemed a little silly to uh, be filling, filming something this small, but, that's the big but, um, a lot of people live in apartments these days, and a lot of people live in ground floor units like me, and they might be saying, oh, whoa, look at that, I can do that. And um, basically if that spreads, uh, even like a few percentage points, um, it would... Uh, increase the overall well-being of the entire nation or anybody who happens to do it. Um, so basically I'd like to sort of spread this around a little bit. So for that reason, um, even though I live in an apartment, well it's not an apartment because I own it, darn it, <laughs> but it's uh, even though I live in a condo, um, I figured I might as well film my progress and my experiments like uh, growing even though it's against the directions of the earth boxes, the planters that I use out there, I'm going to actually use compost to uh, to uh, to see if I can, uh, you know, feed the tomatoes with that. Because I've heard uh, that you you can take like in China, it was like really common there. You'd have three tomato plants in the middle, uh, in, like in a triangle. Then you'd have some chicken wire around it or something like the fence material. And then over the course of the summer and whatnot, you would just throw all your chick, all your kitchen scraps, and maybe I don't know what else in there, <laughs> and then in between all three plants, and then throw a little dirt on it, and gradually it would like increase, um, and then the tomatoes would actually be able to uh, metabolize the stuff. But I certainly wouldn't want to do it with potatoes because that would put the uh, the garbage in direct contact with the food product that you're making so I don't know I'd have to read something about that to say if, to see if it's okay or not but uh, it's just an interesting experiment and right now this year I don't think that my life is going to p depend on uh, on uh, this uh, garden I mean if worse comes to worse I could go down to a couple of uh, places down by the river and there are sting nettles just growing throughout the entire area. And I just ride my bike down there and pick a couple of bike baskets full of those things and come up here and blanch them and make a salad out of them. Um, what's that lady's uh, screen name? Uh, um, Homec 101 or something like that. She was uh, making a video about that. Highly cool. <laughs>